Here we have Walter direct from the template library in his default colors and we wish to change them to make them a little more presentable or colorful. First thing we need to do is figure out which part of his body is assigned to which color group. The easiest way to do that is with the easy color group name finder. We'll drag and drop that onto the stage. It's already selected so we'll click on select apply render style and then click on Walter and now a unique color has been assigned to each of the RS color groups. I'll press escape to get out of that. Apply mode. And let's look at his shirt. His shirt here will match the color over here and it's assigned to upper one. His tie is assigned to upper two. His hair we can see is assigned to hair three and hair four. And his brows are always assigned to brow color, although that could change depending on how the author of the character has assigned the RS color groups. All right, so now we know that his shirt is upper one and his tie is upper two. So we can hit Control Z to undo our change or click the undo button. And then we can delete that. We don't need that now. Now we go into the scene tab. We'll look under the scene templates and look for props easy colors. We'll expand that and we have all the different categories. Now we want upper so we'll go into the upper group and we want upper one. And here are all the easy colors from set one. I will hold down control key hit one and you can cycle through the different modes of the directory listing here. I'll use this since it will show most colors. And let's see, let's give him a red shirt, so I'll take and drag this to the stage. And then for a tie, the tie is upper 02, so we'll go into the upper two colors, and we'll pull up uh, this purplish one. All right, now all we have to do is select the color strip, click Apply Selected Render Style, click on Walter, and now he has a nice red shirt. And we'll press Escape, and the little bucket goes away. Select the next color strip, apply, and click on Walter, and there he is. Now he has a red shirt with a purple tie. Now, if you wanted to save those colors and they were just upper, we'll go back up to the upper directory, and here is an easy color uh, saver for uppers. And what we can do here is do the exact same thing, is select each one of these and apply it to this saver. Oop, did I not select it? Select that, apply, and there. Okay. So now we have this. We can save this as a prop and we can pull this up and apply it to Walter anytime we want. Now if that's all you want to do is change different colored shirts, you can have a whole bunch of these with different colored shirts and the way we can do that, we'll pull up another saver here. We'll go back to upper one and let's pick a green shirt and we can pick a, oh, a cyan looking tie. Whoops, uh, that's from the wrong group. That's still group one. We need to go to group two and pick a tie. Okay, so what we can do now is apply these to this other. I hit escape, select the next one, hit apply. There. Now, I can get rid of these individual color strips. And now I have two different shirts saved for Walter. Now, if I want to apply this shirt to Walter, I can click on this upper color saver, just click Apply, click on Walter, and all the colors are applied at once, rather than doing the individual ones. And then if we want to switch to a different color shirt, we can switch right back to that. And that's what the color savers are good for. Now, if, say, you have a complete coloring for the whole character you want to save, then you would go to the Easy Color directory and look f under the Color Savers. And Color Savers is another product. And in here, let's change this up, we have uh, Color Savers for the four default characters that come with Crazy Talk Animator. And this is Walter's Color Saver right here. Now, this has all his default colors in it, and if we click on this and apply it to Walter, we'll put him right back to the way he was originally. 
But say we wanted to save a complete set of colors for Walter, we can then apply colors to that. So now we got a shirt up there. We can change his skin color if we go to the skins. And we'll pick up a, where's one? Oh, here's a Dusty. All right, we'll take Dusty and we'll apply that over to here. And that's changed up in the skin groups there. And we can get rid of that. And now we have a complete character coloring here, if, it if you would. Um, and we can click and select that, click apply. We can apply it to Walter and change all those colors all at once. And now you have a new coloring for him. So you can save these, and anytime you pull up Walter, you can assign these colors to him at a click of a button. It's easy as, you know, one, two, three. One, you select it. Two, click on the selected render style, and click on Walter, and he's assigned those colors. And this is how you can save them with the color saver. Or if you ever want to get Walter back to his original colors without having to bring in a new character, you can just bring up his original color saver. over here and we can apply that to Walter and put him like right back to the way he was.